Hi, I'm John Liepman, founder and first baseman of ForBasePlayersOnly.com. I've taken the frustration out of learning bass so you can build confidence, have fun, and just enjoy making music. How well do you understand the hierarchy of where and how the bass fits into the band? Exactly how is the bass player supposed to interact with the rest of the band? We're going to talk about that right now. The first thing you need to understand about playing bass is that 99.99% of the time, the bass is a supportive instrument. Your job as a bass player is to lock in with the drummer, lay down the foundation for the band, and make the music feel good. It doesn't mean you're in the background. It doesn't mean you're not important. You're there to play a role, a vitally important role. No matter what kind of chops you may have, or if you can play 80 bazillion 16th notes in 10 seconds, those things don't matter. When you play the bass, or any instrument for that matter, your job is to serve the song. I've been teaching bass for a long time. I've helped over 125,000 people get good at bass. So I'm always looking for new things to pass along, new insights about learning bass. The most obvious resource for me is in the exclusive one-on-one -on -one bass player interviews published on ForBassPlayersOnly.com, now numbering well over 800. One interview I did that I want to talk about was with bass session ace Michael Rhodes. Michael's toured with Joe Bonamassa, he's played with Reba McIntyre, Willie Nelson, Dolly Parton, the Dixie Chicks, Elton John, Stevie Nicks, so he's been around. By the way, you can download a free PDF with Michael's advice for learning bass by clicking the link below this video. The PDF is called 12 Surefire Tips to Make You a Better Bass Player, and it's got some incredible action items you can put to use right away with your bass playing from Michael and from 11 other great bass players. When I asked Michael what advice he had for someone who wants to learn bass, I knew I was going to get something good, and I sure did. First of all, he said, I would say just realizing the importance in the hierarchy of what the bass is supposed to do. It's a supportive instrument. For me, it's all about the song. That's the reason I was always so drawn to the architecture of good pop songs and rock songs and stuff like that. It's the way the instruments interact with one another, the role that the bass takes. He was also quick to point out that even though we may not be in the spotlight, the band and the audience still need us. Otherwise, bands wouldn't have bass players. It doesn't mean it's always got to be in the background, he says, but it's got to be appropriate. The typical listeners don't hear a lot of the other stuff, but they do hear the melody initially, and a bass player needs to support that in the most efficient way. Truer words were never spoken. Thank you, Michael. And you need to download this PDF right now. Remember, Michael is just one of 12 people in my free PDF, 12 Surefire Ways to Make You a Better Bass Player. Download it now. It's totally free. Download it. Read it. Listen to what these people have to say. They know what they're talking about. The title wasn't just pulled out of thin air. 12 Surefire Tips to Make You a Better Bass Player. It's full of great information that will help you. And be sure to leave a comment under this video and let me know your thoughts on the subject. And don't forget to subscribe to the For Bass Players Only YouTube channel. There's so much helpful stuff right here for anyone who likes bass and who likes learning bass. I've taken the frustration out of learning bass so you can build confidence, have fun, and just enjoy making music. That's all for now. I'll see you next week. I'm John Liebman. Let's play bass.